Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben, and I would like to welcome you to, well, I'm not sure what it's called, but today we're going to be discussing Anime Studio 10, should you purchase it, and with me is Jimothy Mills. He is the, um, the second half, the, uh, the wind beneath our wings here at Incredible Tutorials. Hello everyone, um, as you can see here I dress for the occasion and I have a uh, some uh, glasses on. Um, since I've partnered with Chad, I've become a bit of a celebrity, so it was kind of a necessary asset, and um, I even sleep in them. So. <clears throat> yeah, it happens. Chad, thank you very much. It's um, All right, we're done here. Talk. <laughs> no. So, um, but yeah, today, um, well, actually, tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Anime Studio launches, yeah. or is it? It is March 4th. It is, today's the 3rd, so March 4th, Anime Studio launches. So we're here to talk to you about Anime Studio. And we have been working with Anime Studio um, for a few weeks now, I would say. Um, I think it's been a few weeks. It's been kind of a blur because we were contracted to do the tutorials for them. So we've had quite a bit of uh, work involved working with the software. And so we kind of have, we have a good deal of knowledge. So this uh, little podcast here is just to kind of give you, I don't know, some insight. So, so to get started, um, we can talk about the new features. Um, when you were working with it, Jim, what new features stuck out in your mind, like when you were piddling around with it? Probably <clears throat> the phone constraints, um, all those new features. Those are – because in, in uh, previous versions, you had the lock bone, which was real finicky. So they solved that problem pretty much. So the target bones, which you guys probably don't know what those are yet, but you'll find out. Actually, there's tutorials up. You should uh, let them know yeah. about that. Yeah, um, I'll let them know since you can't. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> no, um, yeah, we do have tutorials up because we were contracted to do the tutorials, and they are currently on the Smith Micrographics YouTube channel. I think that's the proper name. And uh, I'll send some annotations up on the videos here when we're done here. But, yeah, check those out. Anyway, you were, you were saying. Um, so, yeah, the bone constraints are great, uh, especially. Uh, was there anything else that stuck out in your mind? No, that was it. No, um, probably, let me, let me think. Uh, well, one that's really nice is the new um, animation preview, mm -hmm. which Definitely. basically lets you do a preview in real frames of everything on your canvas. Um, so and it, it actually renders very quickly, from my experience. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Um, yeah. And I like the render cache then as well. So yeah, that yeah. You Save can it. then take that video and put it somewhere and then send it to someone like, hey, check this out. Am I on the right track or whatever you need to do with it? Yeah, definitely. Um, you think there's there's really a lot of features. Um, yeah, there there is. What did you think about um, like for instance the uh, new exporting, being able to export a bunch of videos? Did you ever get to play around with that much? Or I didn't get to mostly... do as much, um, but I think it's great the fact that it's separate. So like they they said, if um, you can go back and start working in Anime Studio, and if Anime Studio crashes, it's not going to affect your export. So that's nice. Uh, mm -hmm. Because in the in in the past it was all connected, so if one went, they both went. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, no, and I agree. I, I think the new bone constraints. <clears throat> when you look at those built-in characters that Victor did, um, those are amazing. I mean, yeah. I mean, they really showcase exactly kind of what you're what you're going to be able to do. And um, they actually just released a new promo video today with those characters as well, and looks it looks awesome, you know. So it's uh, yeah. That's what's, exciting. What's, what is cool is that um. Pretty much, you know, every version of Anime Studio it would have a startup file with, you know, a character um, read, you know, using some of the new features. But I feel like on version 10, it's probably the best startup files yet because you have more than one startup file. It kind of randomly switches, and they're animated, and it's really good stuff. So it, it, mm -hmm. right from the get-go, you get to see it, uh, the power of Anime Studio 10. <laughs> No, yeah, <clears throat> for sure, definitely. Um, I I didn't really get a chance to work with those in detail just because we've been so caught up with doing the actual recordings. I actually haven't sat down to actually do something with it, but the bone constraints might even make me rearrange how I rig, you know, in terms of, like, using images now for my characters so yeah. I can take advantage of the smooth joint thing and all of that. It just, you know, it, it really makes you think, like, wow, I could really do a lot here and, just with a couple of minor tweaks, you're off and running. So it's really cool. <clears throat> so, 
Um, so yeah, um, and with that, I think I've already covered, I have a list here I'm going down. Um, I asked, you know, if the bone constraints are a game changer. And do you, do you think it's a game changer, like, in terms of how people use Anime Studio, or do you think it's, I don't know, a gimmick? I don't think it is, but what do you think? I'm sorry, I, I fell asleep. Um, <laughs> no, I think, um, no, I, I definitely think it's a game changer. Um, I don't know if it's a, as big a, a game changer as Smartphones was, because that was pretty mm -hmm. huge. But, I mean, this is like building on that. And, yeah. uh, like, you know, it's good stuff. I like yeah. it. Um, like, I really do like the target bones, because uh, you were even uh, speaking about um, an animation you're going to be doing in the future where you want the character to dance, and mm -hmm. it comes in really handy for stuff like that. Don't spill could, it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys how amazing it is. <laughs> really amazing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, that, and that's good. Um, you know, and they it really, they did a lot. I, I, I mean, compared to 9.5 and 10, they pack a lot into this one. So I think a lot of people will find that to be a value. I mean, there's many different things. There's combined tools now for the bones and then the points. So everything is kind of rolled into one. When you're using the bones, such as the uh, moving the bones and resizing the bones and all that, and then yeah, that's actually, the points. That's good to point out because uh, was it 9 or 9.5 where they combined the layers, the layer tools? Yep, I think it was nine. Yep, the transfer. Now they've done that. Um, they've done that for the points, and they've done that for uh, the bones. Um, so that's really cool. And then, um, is hiding bo uh, bones and points is that new? That is also new. Yep. Yeah. That's nice because if you ever run into that situation where you have like a side view of a character walking, and like his arms or legs are overlapping each other, it's really hard to reach, you know, that bone. So now you can just hide the bone in the front, and then you can have access to the one in the back. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's that's definitely cool. Um, and I'm, I'm looking on the list here to see what else, just in case I'm forgetting anything. Um, I think we pretty much covered all the the, the real big stuff, you know, in yeah. terms of. Uh, so, so I mean, I think we, I think you and I both agree that our favorite thing is the new bone constraints, for sure. Yeah, but, I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff here. You know, there's some stuff here that like I personally wouldn't use, but I'm sure a lot of other people will use, like the new blob brush tool. You know, like I I don't I just don't really draw that way, I guess, and so it seems. Um, Sorry about that, smoke people. <laughs> um, I think <laughs> so I should I should bring up something that Chad hasn't mentioned yet. Oh. I've realized which was one of his favorite new features. What was it? Tabs. Oh yes. <clears throat> I yeah I love the tabs. <clears throat> um, I it's funny because I did a Chad chat. Those are now I think retired now. But I did a Chad chat. You know um, I think back in the summer and I was like Anime Studio 10. What do you want to see? This is probably before Anime Studio 9.5 came out. Actually, I think one of my suggestions was I would like to see tabs. Like for instance, when you're working in Premiere with the sequences or you know with your comps and After Effects, you know it's really easy to go back and forth, back and forth, and even share assets. And with the tabs here in Anime Studio, it's it's getting there. Like you can jump back and forth, you can share, um, well you can copy and paste vectors. I'll be really excited to see what will happen in you know future versions because I'm sure they'll expand upon it to where you'll eventually be able to share assets outright. You know, bone kind of layers, like, um, kind of like in, layers. Um, like in, are you thinking like uh, the Flash library kind of mm -hmm. situation? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I think so. I think that'd be cool. So definitely, I like the tabs. Um, <clears throat> do you have any uh, thought, uh, other thoughts on any of the new stuff that I missed? I don't know. I mean, the, like they do we touch on the stagger, balance, and elastic? I don't think we did. Oh yeah, they also have those new interpolation options. Um, you can now do stagger, balance, or elastic, as Jim just said. Just kind of gives you a different uh, effect <clears throat> when you're animating out. And they also have the um, squash and stretch. Um, well, there's a couple. There's you can apply it to a bone. So when it when you uh, scale it, it'll squash and stretch. It looks more. It looks more. Um, what do you call it? I would I, say I look, cartoony. Yeah, like more screen. cartoony. And then they also have the feature where you can apply it. Um, I think it's within the bone constraints window where you can apply it to like the legs. So if you're lifting, if you have the character's legs locked on the ground using the target bones, you can stretch them up and 
you think the legs will stretch. I know this is so exciting that we're excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it is. It, I mean, we're trying to we're trying our best here to excite people. Get excited! Woo! So, uh, <laughs> so uh, get excited, damn it! No, um, but uh, no, it is good. Um, so I think we've pretty much covered the new features. You know what we both like. Um, I think we've definitely gone down down that road. So, looking forward, Jim, into your glass ball or whatever. Yes. Um, <laughs> what would you like to see then in Anime Studio 11 or 10 point whatever when they release it? What do you think, you know, look, working with this, with all the tools that we've gotten, what would you like to see added next time? Which I know is kind of selfish of us. They're just coming off of 10 and they're probably, you know, they're probably short of killing themselves <laughs> with all the work they did, but we always want more. So what would you like to see in version 11 if there was anything? Well, you asked me that question. I realize I probably should have prepared for this. <laughs> um, well, there was a few things. I wish I could remember what they are. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure I would told them to you before. Obviously, obviously, if they could um, expand on the frame by frame, that would be nice. Um, I don't know how far they can go with that because frame by frame is so different, you know. Um, <clears throat> but um, gosh, I really had some ideas. Well. I think one that'd be good. Um, there was there was an individual who did a like an auto rigging script. Yeah, that was good. I I mean that'd be kind of cool to see something similar. What is that individual's 11. name? May I ask? Mike Kelly, correct? Yes, Mike Kelly. So um, that is uh, I like to see that. But I mean, really, they did a lot with this one. So I mean, I, just in, I, case you're, in case you're wondering, when Chad's talking about the auto rigging, <clears throat> is basically. You create a character, you rig up the bones, and then let's say you create another character later, you can basically import those bones and it pre-rigs everything and you just make a few little tweaks and adjustments. So um, that is definitely a cool feature. I think that's something that can we may see in you know future versions, um, but I don't know. That would be cool, though. Yeah, no, I, I definitely think so, but um, there's definitely a lot here, so, okay, so the big question then, of course, kind of the question that we uh, are trying to address here in this rambling on podcast that we're doing here, um, is Anime Studio 10 worth buying? Let's say you're a 9.5 user, is it worth buying? Um, I would definitely say it depends on your situation. Like, if you um, if you're really into the smartphones and if you're really into doing advanced rigs, I would say 10 is definitely worth the upgrade. Um, if you are, let's say, you're an Anime Studio 9 debut user, um, I'm not sure if you're going to find a whole lot of benefit with a debut 10. Now, going from Pro 10, of course, you're going to be it's night and day. But um, what are your thoughts on that? Hmm. Um. <laughs> Well, the one thing I would say is, um, I guess it does depend. For me, I definitely um, want it. Um, I just like to have as many new features as I can, and so many of the new features I've added will uh, speed things up. I think um, if you're the kind of person, the kind of person that should definitely upgrade is if you like to animate in Anime Studio using images, because the new um, Smooth, uh, smooth joint. Mm -hmm. The new smooth joint tool <clears throat> um, is awesome. That's a game changer if you like to, you know, import images and use bones to manipulate them. So definitely for that person. Um, but I, gu I guess it depends. You know, like um, uh, I, the best thing you can do is go and look at all the features um, on the videos that me and Chad put up on YouTube and make the decision for yourself. Um, do, you, do you think they're bored yet or no? I don't know. Are you guys bored yet? All that. That's right. They can't answer. So who uh, cares? Um, <laughs> we should have invited a few of them. <laughs> well, we'll do. We'll try a live hangout next time. So, all right. Yeah. I, I mean, I think we've pretty much covered it. So do you have any final thoughts <clears throat> about Anime Studio 10? Final thoughts about Anime Studio 10. I think it's great. Um, no, I, I, I like it. They did a really good job. <clears throat> um, you know, you always wonder when you go from one version to the next, you know, how much, what they're going to add to it. Um, 
for some reason with Anime Studio, especially the last two or three versions, I feel like they keep adding really great stuff that, um, you know, not stuff where you see it and you're like, oh, okay, I'm not going to use that, or that's kind of cool, but stuff where you're like, like you said, you know, game chain, target bones, the smooth joint, um, just even things like the animation preview. I mean, that's great. Tabs, I mean, they really did a lot of stuff. Another thing I'd like to see in um, future version of Anime Studio 10, and hopefully I don't get shot for saying this, but uh, maybe um, a facelift with the interface, or with the um, interface, you know? <clears throat> yeah, it's it's kind of had the same interface since Moho, if I remember right. Um, I haven't, I didn't really use Moho back then, but um, basically, yeah. Yeah. it's it, it's it's very it's much more user friendly than say Flash. Um, when you, and it comes to like frames and all that stuff, but yeah, it does look like I don't know. It's like whenever you launch Anime Studio, it kind of looks like you almost go into. It's not like it's not like part of your operating system. Like, like, how, how like the how the like the Adobe Creative Suite, all everything is very concise <clears throat> and looks modern. This one looks like it still uses those old assets, which I think it does. Um, so you're saying but, it's like a time machine? Kind of, yeah. But I mean, it's still cool though because it's still one of the most intuitive, and I would say, you know, when it comes to working and getting stuff done, it it works very well. I mean, you know, I mean, just with again compared to Flash, I mean, sometimes you just have to do something simple in Flash sometimes takes like twice as long than what you could do in Anime Studio. So the interface, I, I think the interface itself is fine, but a facelift visually would be great. Yeah, that's what so, I meant. I mean, <clears throat> everything. Um, it's very user friendly, very intuitive, and I guess we, I I could uh, mention if you are a Flash user or if you're starting out with Flash um, and you're not interested in frame by frame, you should definitely give Anime Studio 10 a look because I can say now from experience that um, Anime Studio 10 is just a much better software <clears throat> for animating anything that's non frame by frame compared to Flash. Now, of course, Flash has the um, the ability to create interactive things, um, uh, you know, stuff like that, games or whatever. <clears throat> but um, if you're strictly just wanting to do animation, um, I would say definitely give it a, a try. Do they have a, a trial offer? I don't know about 10 yet. They did with 9.5. Okay. So they probably will 10 eventually. And that, you know, that's the bottom line. We can say and ramble, which we have been forever. Um, <clears throat> but the bottom line is, I think, with all these new features, the only way you <clears throat> do, there's is to try it out yourself. Just to go to, I think it's anime.smithmicro.com and get get the trial. And if you want to purchase it, we'll have a link here at the bottom as well where you can purchase the software. So um, yeah, definitely, uh, on that definitely, link. definitely check it out. Even, but, if you don't, even if you don't want the software, click on it. <laughs> um, so, so how am I doing? Am I doing okay? Um, you uh, no, oh. you're doing terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so with that, we can uh, wrap up. Um, I think we're good. I think we've covered all that we wanted to. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Chad Trofgerman. With me is Jim Mills. Jim Mills. We have more tutorials coming. If you'd like to see more videos like this, hopefully that are a little bit more concise next time, maybe even some live ones, just let us know in the comments. And, of course, subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, well, I don't know. I just don't know. So. We don't know. All right. <laughs> thanks, Jim.